All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Griff. Just sitting here chilling. Got to do the video from the kitchen today <clears throat> um, because I'm in the process of moving my desk and office area from downstairs to upstairs. So I got to um, do all of that. And that's why I've been cleaning up and got, you know me, I'm a little messy. <laughs> so it's been a little bit of a mess. And then I've just been also working on some other personal projects. Um, what this camera is sitting on is my dehydrator. Um, I got a big, oops, I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. Got me a nice little big dehydrator and everything and already been playing with that. Dehydrated me some pears, nice and thin, and some apples with some cinnamon on it. Very, very tasty. Very tasty. And I was playing around with ginger. Ooh, that ginger smell. This is fresh ginger. This is fresh ginger that I dehydrated. So it uh it got some kick to it. Man, I don't know if that's just natural, but yeah, that dehydrated ginger still got some kick to it, got some good smell. I've been cooking with it and everything, and the pear is actually real sweet and i didn't do anything to it <clears throat> just set it in the dehydrator for a couple of hours and um man that thing actually worked and so, so i got a commercial grade dehydrator and all of that but that ain't why i came on here to talk to y'all <laughs> um <clears throat> just wanted to share some things with y'all. Um, this question that has come up a couple of times, and I don't know why. And I'll be honest, and I even responded sort of this way to the person. I'm not understanding why people don't understand what to do in this scenario. Um, and it's really about what to do with the documents. Um, that question has come up probably about five or six times where somebody will, will um, comment on a video just out of the blue. I don't know what I might've said to make them think about it, but they'll comment and say, okay, after the signing, what do I do with the documents? What do I do? I mean, do I, what, I mean, they don't even make a suggestion. Like, do I keep them? Do I send them back? I, well, maybe one person, but the question is like, what do I do with the documents? And my answer is this, if, somebody gave you some documents to take to someone to sign, what is the completion of that task? The completion of it is after they sign it, it has to go back to the people who requested it. But a lot of people are like, well, what do I do? I mean, I got the documents. Do I ship it? Do I not ship it? Do I, what, what, what do I do? You know, well, what do you think? You know, and like I said, there's not that many people really come with those answers. But it's only like one, one that I can think of, maybe two, that ask like, "What do I? What do I do with it? Do I ship the document?" But most people just ask, "What do I do?" And I'm like, "What do you think you should do with the document? Somebody gave you something to take to somebody to get them to sign. How does that person know that they signed it? Well, if um, well, they'll know when I send it back. <clears throat> like like the young guy." does the thing there you know that's the question it's like okay why don't you understand and you know that and see so you put yourself in that situation what would you think need to be done if somebody brought you documents you signed them you will hope that they get sent back to the person who sent them because you as the notary you know you're just the go-between that notary is just the middle person bringing documents back and forth so it's not for us to hold on and keep the other question that comes up is do I need to give them a second copy? Well, that depends on the situation because with a loan documents, mortgage documents, typically, yes. But I've been in situations where they say, don't give them a second copy. We'll provide them a second copy. Okay. And I've done that twice where I went to the signing and I printed the documents and all I did was print one copy and they told the customer they will give you a second copy. Now, for is a refund, I would say. Now with the new home bills that I'm doing, that is a constant. It's print one copy, don't give them a copy, we'll get them a copy next week. 
okay, that's what you say. And I, and that's what ends up happening. <clears throat> so the situation as to do you always give them a second copy? That's subjective because the title company may have a flow and a process. Then depending on the type of document it is, what if you're not doing a loan document, you're doing some other document. So it's hard for me to say, yes, always give them a second copy. You need to find out from the person who's paying you. Whatever they say, whatever they ask you to do, that's what you do. If they want you to give a second copy, then you give a second copy. And all it takes is you asking them that question. As far as what to do with documents afterwards, well, why would you need to keep the documents afterwards? Now, there are some orders where they tell me just scan back only. But again, I didn't keep the document, like never gave it back for them to see that it was completed. How do they know that it was completed outside of the completion report? They don't know until they see the finished results of signatures and notarizations. So the bottom line is this. There's no reason for you to keep the documents. There's not going to ask you to go take documents to somebody and then you just hold on to them forever and never give them to them. You never give them back to the people who sent you and they just like, OK, well, I guess you said they signed it. So we good. And they just supposed to release two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's not how how life works. OK, so. You talk to the people, if you're unsure, ask them, what do you want me to do with the documents? But sometimes don't get so ahead of yourself. Wait till you get the order. And when you see the order, it will tell you exactly what you need to do. Scan back and ship. Just ship or just scan back and don't ship. But there should not ever be a scenario where you don't send them something back. It's that simple. You got to send them something back. And then for is the second copy. Contact them. And matter of fact, the orders will tell you provide a second copy. It'll tell you, it'll tell you how it should be done and how it should not be done. And then you just abide by that and everything else falls in line. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm a, oop, I almost ate that ginger because that ginger is spicy. I'm going to finish eating my pear and my apple that's been dehydrated. And I got a nice little slicer over there. I might need to do a video to show y'all this. I know I probably shouldn't have added the food stuff in there about notary stuff, but what the heck. All right, y'all have a good one. Peace.